Mr. Deputy Chairman, I thought I should rise to support the point put forward by the Honorable Mr. Kunzuru, but my Honorable friend from Hyderabad has said certain things which I had better deal with first. He has attacked more or less the whole system of elections in India. He has talked of indirect election and so on. I am afraid he has gone far beyond the scope of the bill and I do not think that that needs an answer at all. As regards the question of preparing electoral rolls, I think there is ample power vested in the Election Commission to order the preparation of a regular electoral roll. If the Election Commission considers it necessary for any extraordinary reasons such as a large exodus from one place to another and things of that kind. Otherwise, as the Honorable Member himself said, it is such a vast country and such huge numbers are involved that I think it would be really an unnecessary burden on the resources of the state to launch upon the preparation of electoral rolls every year. The same purpose could be served by revising the electoral rolls every year as per the directions given by the election commission as well as the rules laid down for the purpose in a democracy one of the prerequisites for its success is vigilance and i think it would be quite in order to expect the people of various parties to interest themselves in the revision of these electoral roles. In fact, that is an obligatory task of the citizens and it only helps to create greater awareness and alertness on the part of the different parties. There was another point made by my honorable friend to which I should like to refer. He referred to false personation. I am not going to deny it absolutely. There might have been some false personation, but to say that it was the Congress that resorted to false personation and that all other parties were paragons of virtue and were angles dropped from heaven is simply absurd that he should have had the boldness to venture such a reckless statement. I should say irresponsible statement without any proof whatever was wholly unfair on his part to the Congress and it is no credit to this August House that one of its members should make such an allegation against the opposition parties. Sir, my purpose is more to appreciate the stand taken by my honorable friend Shri Kunzuru. I do not know 
इट इज फॉर द होम मिनिस्टर टू से वेदर इवन नाउ एज द क्लोज स्टैंड इट वुड नॉट बी ओपन टू द इलेक्शन कमीशन टू रिव्यू द ऑर्डर ऑफ द चीफ इलेक्टोरल ऑफिसर मेड इन अपील अगेंस्ट एन ऑर्डर ऑफ द इलेक्टोरल रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफिसर आई हैव एन आइडिया दैट द इलेक्शन कमीशन इज सुप्रीम इन दीज मैटर्स दैट इवन वेन देर इज एन अपील फ्रॉम द इलेक्टोरल रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफिसर टू द चीफ इलेक्टोरल ऑफिसर एंड द चीफ इलेक्टोरल ऑफिसर पासिज एन ऑर्डर दो इट मे बी फाइनल इन द ऑर्डनरी सेंस इट डज नॉट प्रीक्लूड द एडिशन कमीशन फ्रॉम रिवाइजिंग दैट ऑर्डर आई वुड लाइक टू बी एनलाइटेंड ऑन दिस पॉइंट इफ द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर इन चार्ज ऑफ द बिल सेज दैट द ऑर्डर इन अपील ऑफ द चीफ इलेक्टोरल ऑफिसर ओवर एन ऑर्डर ऑफ द इलेक्टोरल रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफिसर इज फाइनल एंड इट इज नॉट ओपन टू द इलेक्शन कमीशन टू सेट इट राइट देन आई बैग हम्बली टू डिफर फ्रॉम सच ए स्टैंड एंड आई थिंक दैट इज ए लैकुना विच शुड बी मेड अप सो आई वुड लाइक द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर टू अप्लाई हिज माइंड to this aspect and see that in no case the supreme authority of the election commission in this matter which is of vital importance is in the least abridged or curtailed i think a slight amendment to clause 23 would set right the whole matter there is only one other remark which i wish to make before i conclude and that is with regard to clause 25 on page 8 it enjoins on every local authority an obligation to make available to the electoral registration officer such staff as may be necessary for the performance of any duties in connection with the preparation and revision of electoral rolls well with the knowledge that we have of these local authority may fail to make available the electoral registration officer the staff that he wants now what is the remedy if the local authority does not meet that obligation if it does not choose to make available the requisite staff that has not been provided for in the bill it is open to the honorable minister to devise some means to meet such a contingency but i think a clause like this would be very helpful that will be some kind of an inducement to the local authority to provide the staff that is all that i have got to say and i will no longer tire the house